Hi, this is Billy here with another segment of U.S. News by Billy, episode 33, today's date, July 7, 2023. Some of the things I'll be covering. New Jersey fire. Rest in peace, negative 48. Planet X in as little as two weeks? Say it isn't so. And the CCP in Cuba and Mexico also say it isn't so. Some of my sources are God in the Bible, Patriot, Subscriber, Pastor Paul Begley's recent interview, a mic from around the world, Watchwoman 65, Suspicious Observer, Steve Quell site, Daily Mail, Hal Turner, a website, War News 24-7, uh, Before It's News, uh, Bestin Taylor, uh, some information also from Gordon Chang, Yahoo News, Benjamin Fulford, Israeli News Live, Awakening Cosmic Reality, Sal M. So let's get started. Okay. So I had some Patriot subscribers uh, from, and some more information is coming out in this video that yes, we were hit by a, a whammo by the sun and we do uh, are experiencing health effects so i have this from a patriot subscriber you can wear military grade faraday cloth and it blocks 5g rays another one said weather uh all is calm in the indian ocean area and uh yeah they're referring to the information i gave out about the georgia guidestones i had several Patriot subscribers say, didn't it have, you know, words written on it in several languages? Yes, it was like a New World Order statue talking about the Earth population going down to 500 million. And well, I have a Patriot subscriber. I believe, uh, you know, uh, there's a dome over the U.S. increasing the heat. And that NASA is lying. Yeah. I know a lot of us feel that way. Okay, I have a Patriot subscriber. Say, so, yes, I've been feeling weak in my legs and fatigue, joint pain. Can't catch my breath. Yep. I've heard other people comment about that, the breathing issue. And uh, I have a Patriot subscriber says... I wonder what effect this has on the animals moving in circles. I think I've done something on that, but I'll do some more research. And uh, I had a Patriot subscriber talking about uh, another site, JWTV, covering Walmart and McDonald's and underground areas. I know when I was at college and I worked at Walmart, I was shown the underground tunnels and said they connected all over the U.S. and they were... The purpose was for the U.S. military to use them in case they had to, you know, go to martial law or defend the nation. So I can verify from personal knowledge, yeah, there were underground uh, tunnels under, but it's it's not just uh, Walmart and um, McDonald's. It's all of the big box stores like Lowe's and Target and all of them that are distributed around the U.S. also have tunnels underneath them. Now in the Walmart, I had a Patriot subscriber, a couple said, I work in a Walmart and there's no tunnels here. And then I had other Patriot subscribers who said, yeah, I've worked at Walmarts where they had the underground tunnels. So I guess it's not at every single location, but definitely a tunnel location put in by the government. A CIA, DARPA, yeah, and the militaries. And there's also underground areas in the U.S. under all uh, military bases. Okay, I have a Patriot subscriber talking about the heat in the U.S. and they believe DARPA is involved. I, I wouldn't dispute that at all and that they have heaters uh, that affect the ionosphere high up in the air and they use microwaves they can generate earthquakes and volcanoes also tornadoes and hurricanes yes and heat yeah i have another patriot subscriber 
who says, um, yeah, foil inside the cap. Yeah, some people are doing that to protect from the radiation. Okay, now I have this from Cliff High. He's talking about his web bot data. Uh, this summer, uh, is he's describing as the big ugly. It's going to be very dynamic. We're going to have sharp ups and downs in terms of population effects and emotions, energy from space that was also reflected in the web bot data. So that's going on. Now, we'll talk about this fire that happened in New Jersey. Uh, it was aboard a ship. So let's get started. All right, we've got this on the East Coast. So we've got Florida down here, Texas, California, Mexico. We've got Cuba down here, Florida. Canada, New York, New Jersey. Now, this fire happened on July 6, and it was on a, a ship. And uh, two, tragically, two firefighters were killed. Now, Hal Turner brought this information out, and Sal M., who's a prof in North Carolina, but also an expert in maritime uh, and i found out he's also knowledgeable in firefighting he while he was a merchant marine he was trained by the navy how to fight fires on ships and then also on land he served as a professional firefighter and still serves as a captain of a, a local firefighting group so he's very knowledgeable now i also when i heard about the two firefighters who were from a land-based uh, fire department fighting a fire on a ship because of my safety background in fighting fires inside plants. And there's something uh, comparable inside a plant and on a ship, and that is getting trapped in uh, inside areas uh, very tight quarters and uh, so um, yeah he brought that out too that's most likely what happened to the two firefighters so we need to be in prayer for their families that was tragic loss one had nine years experience and the other one 16. i submit as did sal m uh, that it you know it's just different fighting a fire on a ship now I'm also going to bring this up. Uh, this information, the ship had used cars on it. They were going to Africa. No electric cars, because my first thought was uh, maybe the, some of those lithium batteries had ignited. And this came out that as they were fighting the fire, uh, it was like a 12 deck uh, ship and the fire was like on the 10th deck and it could be seen from the uh, news helicopter that just spontaneous fires broke out in these different vehicles as the helicopter was reporting on the fire now this information came out from Mike from around the world a few months ago Mike is regularly on Pastor Paul Begley's Thursday night program, and we believe Mike works for the NSA. Mike knows stuff. Talking about space impacts on the Earth, and he came out with this maybe four to six months ago. Talking about how the impacts from space would change chemicals on the Earth, and there could be spontaneous ignition changes in the chemicals well this is an example that possibly fits into that category so that's going on now we have this 
a report on uh, a Michael, his name is Bratzman, and he's been active in the truther community and uh, uh, possibly, you know, on the fringe of, of uh, groups supporting President Trump. And he, he was a 60, and he went by his uh, negative 48, was what he went by on his uh, YouTube, and I think he had Telegram. And he had a, an accident at, the, uh, at a Meadow Valley uh, track where they... Um, uh, raced uh, or or used uh, dirt bikes in Millville, Minnesota, and then about a week later, he was at the uh, Mayo Clinic in Minnesota, and he passed away on June 30. So we say rest in peace. Uh, negative 48. So that's going on. Let's see. Let me get my Cuba back. Okay. Now we have this. Mike from around the world. Yeah, he's talking about changes. So we have space coming in. We have uh, like Planet X and uh, the sun and binary system. And I submit to you, we have... I believe multiple things happening. Now, my major in college was science. I was a high school science teacher. I was life or science major. And for 30 years, I've been interested in uh, the pole shift and the electromagnetic shield around the Earth and space events, planet X. So I'm knowledgeable in these areas. Now, my perception has been that we would have multiple impacts, and that's what I believe. So we've got the sun. The talk is a binary, a second sun, also planet X. And I think there are multiple things going on here. Uh, suspicious observers, Ben Davidson, I'll link, link that for you did a good job of presenting a concise 6,000-year cycle of, like, pole shift, and I'm familiar with that from multiple, uh, like, uh, rocks in the ocean and rocks in, uh, on the land, documenting different cycles, and we have a tree, uh, rings, we have ice cores, so we have multiple types of evidence supporting this 6,000 year. Uh, pole shift is when supposedly the magnetic uh, poles of the earth uh, supposedly go to nothing and then restart and switch or move. Now, been, uh, Ben Davidson believes there, the North Pole is going to move from Canada all the way over to Siberia in this next move. So we are going to have earth changes. Now, so weather changes would be one of them, and Mike is predicting uh, straight line winds up to 200 miles per hour for our thunderstorms and intense and a heat anomaly in the Gulf Pacific Atlantic Oceans. Ice, uh, ice melting, that would also change the oceans. So, that's going on. Now, from Mike from around the world and also Israeli News Live, Stephen Benoon, Stephen was formerly with the CIA, now as a ministry, but regularly gets updates from the Pentagon, talking about a binary sun affecting, yeah, 
So Stephen's information was the space event would begin to affect our solar system. That was in September of 2022, and then the Earth by December. So we've seen that happen, and now we're going to be seeing it in the sky. Now, Gilbersard's data was that Planet X would be seven times the size of Earth. I submit to you, I think we're going to have both a binary, a double sun that has a regular cycle. Also, this Planet X has a cycle. So that's going on. Now, Mike is saying that so, the military bases had to be off-grid by the end of 2022, and that all governments and militaries around the world for the last eight years have been expecting this binary sun, Planet X. So, uh, so we're seeing the ocean temperatures increase. We're seeing the Schumann vibration inside the Earth increase. We're seeing magma inside the Earth rising and uh, causing more earthquakes, volcanoes. We're seeing more fires. And Mike from around the world, um, July 6th uh, show, I'll link that for you said we could see Planet X in the sky in as little as two weeks. Two weeks or two days, or he doesn't think it's two years, or maybe two months. Okay. And Hal Turner, I was reminded of Hal Turner's um, admonition. Get right with God. That's right. Okay. Now we have this taking place, and we have multiple sources talking about neutrinos. Now we had predictive programming in the movie 2012 for neutrinos. And neutrinos are, so we have a, an atom, we've got these smaller molecules, neutrinos. Supposedly, CERN, one of their objectives in this big track they had underneath the ground was to speed up particles and they would bombard and also detect neutrinos. Now, we're having, a, and I picked up on this pattern recently of seeing neutrino here, neutrino there. Elena Kapolnik with the Awakening Cos Cosmic Reality was also reporting on neutrino detection at the South Pole, as is Mike from around the world. Now, in the movie 2012, Predictive Programming, it was an area near India, I believe, way underground. And they were picking up neutrinos, and typically, or historically, the teaching was, neutrinos pass through matter. But in the movie 2012, it said, oh, there's been a big change. Now they're impacting matter. And we know in 2012 was a, a movie about catastrophic climate change. Okay, neutrino. So now. Mike is bringing this out, all new information. Uh, he said governments and militaries around the world were to have their plan for dealing with Planet X space event by 2024 for the ancient return. Now, Ben Davidson did a good job of uh, his um, predictive cycle about 6,000 years, and we're do that, and we understand that from the Bible. We've been on a 6,000-year cycle. So, yeah, that's going on. Now, neutrino. So, Mike is bringing this out. 
about the neutrinos being a type of communication. So, we have in the South Pole, we have underground, something like 5,100 uh, a unit, small unit, and there are 3,000 meters or about 9,843 feet deep, and they emit, receive, and transmit communication signals. And they also have in the South Pole lasers as large as houses to pulse communications. And Mike made an observation I thought was true. Who are they communicating with? That's what we want to know next. Inquiring minds definitely want to know. Now, he's saying this. Inside the U.S., we have things going on. So in New York, in Arizona, in Texas, the power grid companies are on permanent watch. They, to, for anything happening, impact on the power grid from the sun. And now we have this. This is coming out. Now, remember in my last video, I talked about radiation sickness. And then I had response from people. Yeah, I've been feeling this or that. There's been a recent release from the sun of gamma rays. And this can give you radiation sickness. So... Yeah, that's going on. Now, he's also bringing this out. This was new information to me also. That in the last few years, on the highways, they have increased the amount of concrete, but they're also putting under the concrete springs inside the highways to strengthen the highways because they anticipate a dramatic impact from this space event. Oh, hey, yeah, we were going to tell you the people. <laughs> right. Now, we've heard about this. Here's Earth. About this cigar-shaped... Um, uh, originally it was called, oh, a few years ago, it's, it's a meteor, it's an asteroid. Then other sources like Avi Loeb, he's an astronomy prof, I think, at Harvard. And this is called Omnimu, something like that. And it's coming back. And uh, originally, you know, the governments around the world said, oh, it's like a meteor asteroid just because it's speeding up, slowing down. It's seeming to change um, its path. No, it's natural. You believe us, don't you know? Mm -mm. So it's an ET, correct? And it's coming back. Yeah, that was also on Best and Taylor. Now we have this. So, Mike from around the world is admitting, yeah, that recent military spread out all over the U.S. is also mirrored by NATO, spreading out all over different nations. And this spread out is partially military but it's also part of a global plan to deal with the space event so that's going on and yeah in the u.s it is jade helm 2.0 to get people used to seeing the military in the event that they have to go to martial law 
a lockdown of the American people. So we have this. And this is about China. So now we'll go on to this about China. Also, when China takes Taiwan, there was to be a simultaneous responses by other militaries. Now, just this week, the U.S. has made a deal with India to buy chips. So that's going on. Now, Mike from around the world and other sources are bringing us verification. Here is Florida, Cuba, yeah. We do have the CCP. They do have a base in Cuba. We have Texas. We've got Arizona. We've got California. Mexico. They're also coming down into Mexico, Central America, and then further down into South America. We've got that going on. Yeah, so Mike from around the world is confirming in Cuba there is an underground Chinese base. And that also China, when China makes a move to take Taiwan, which it's believed China will do when Russia is engaged more heavily in and NATO is engaged in Ukraine. Then China will take Taiwan, but they'll also reach out to take islands near Australia, New Zealand, Japan, and so on. Now, I had a few years ago this. So we have, we have China, Taiwan, Japan. Down here we have Indonesia. I have this from God. A bishop on Fulford mentioned a submarine sinking in this area. And God said to me, look into this. So I did. I got the information on it. And then uh, three weeks later, uh, uh, one of the truther shows, Scott McKay, had information from the military that the CCP had taken a small island here, and they had sank the sub, and they had also killed thousands of people on this island. And that would have been about a year and a half to two years ago. And they're set up to take Japan's islands, Taiwan, also Philippines will come under this. So, yeah, that's going on. All right, and now we have this. So, uh, Benjamin Fulford, yeah, about China. And he's saying that uh, China, Chinese, the CCP are inside, as are Russian troops inside Venezuela. Yeah, we've had that for a while. And that Nicaragua invited Russia in, that happened about a year ago, to take down the CIA shadow government bio labs inside Nicaragua. So that's going on. And now we have this. That the Pentagon has opened the border uh, of Arizona, that would be the shadow uh, military, and that the CCP is in uh, military soldiers in uniform are all, all over Mexico. So that's going on. And now we have uh, Besson Taylor and some information from Gordon Chang. Gordon has a uh, half Chinese, he's an American attorney, truther. The CCP is inside the U.S. as shock troops. And the first day that China takes Taiwan, 
inside the U.S., the CCP shock troops are going to take down the U.S. power grid, internet, hospitals, shoot police, and spread bioweapons and bomb malls and stores. So that's the information from Gordon Chang. Now, Watchwoman65 came out with this, that the CCP has, and she got this information from the Washington Post. They have a bioweapon to use against humans that's like, uh, affects the brain. It's neural. It can come out in uh, handheld microwaves or it can be larger devices to cover like a city. And it shoots out electromagnetic beams for mind control. So that's going on. So now we know what to pray about and against. And definitely it's a good time to be prepping. A short prayer. America. It's based on America, the beautiful words and lyrics by Bates and Ward. May our skies remain forever clear and blue. May amber waves of grain ever fill our plains. May pilgrim feet ever seek our shores who are aligned with God. To walk in a land of freedom by constitution, in a land of liberty by law, in a land of grace by blessing from God. And we say, God bless America. Beautiful place of patriot dreams and a brotherhood from sea to shining sea. And we say thank you, God the Father, God the Son, Jesus, who many call Yeshua, and God the Holy Spirit. I say to my family and friends, it's time to prep for sure. Remain steady out there. Continue to pray. It's good to remember God is in charge and he is on the move. He's got that angel of death on the earth too. Uh, to go after our enemies, both domestic and foreign. I love you, and I'll see you soon.